Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Am I awake? Three AM Sweet B Sweet F F in the chat. Sweet A Okay. Thanks, hype. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we can't grab anything. So I, f I, f I think we're awake. Or that's what they're... That's what they're trying to make us, uh, make us think. <gasps> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> we back, boys. Interesting. Which way should we go? Uh, uh. I guess this is the way. <laughs> you bring my water soda. Exit temporarily moved. Interesting way to put that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this game though. I'm I love this kind of uh artwork that um kind of perception type art that makes it look like it's something but it's not. They're using it so masterfully. Optical illusions, that's the word I was looking for. Obviously, the music adds to it. Does this mean I can't bring my, my trusty water soda over? Where's my water soda? Like, there hasn't been any creatures that are trying to attack us or anything, but I always feel like I need to walk around with a massive exit sign. <laughs> Call me paranoid, I guess. Alright, so the massive exit sign is going to be a ramp.
Yeah, let's do that. Can we walk on this? Not yet. Okay. Let me just do this. No, 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 no. Come on. <laughs> That's just beautifully done. All right, so we're going to try to figure out how to get to this middle part, too. Uh, not like that. It really adds um, some shock factor, I guess is the word I'm looking for. When you switch from the peaceful music into the cold warehouse. I mean, realistically speaking, you would still hear a little bit. But we are also in a dream. So... I want to know what's up there. So forgive me. My curiosity in puzzle games is um pretty I mean I I, I want to say it's unparalleled or whatever, but I feel like it's warranted. <laughs> I feel like curiosity in puzzle games is just a natural thing. You know, if you want to actually see what the game's got. Now, can we actually make it to the top? That's the, that's the question we have here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It doesn't feel, it doesn't look like there's anything. Wait, is there a doorway? <sighs> I don't know, man. All right, let's take a look at this. New cube design, Aragama Pirate. Materials, da, 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 da. Order more red paint. Hmm. That's that's not a real. Is that a real word? These are definitely a utensil. <laughs> Listen. Just because I'm Asian doesn't mean I know everything there is to do with math. I think it's a, it's like a compass, right? what we want it's so large that it's like freaking out <laughs> I messed it up
Mm. The leaning breaks it. Come on. Oh man, the angle's just a tiny bit off. Uh. <laughs> no. Oh, our hopes and dreams. Oh boy. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Ouch. He's done it. He's done it. <laughs> is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Was it worth it? I think it was a learning experience as to the limits of this game. No offense to the game developers. <laughs> Don't give me an unreachable goal. I will reach it. <laughs> there you go. You could probably grab this. Yeah. Another cube to grab. Okay. What angle? There's something missing there. Hmm. Oh, there's a vase. What 
is this? Ah, I see. Very much so. It's like a little cat tree. <laughs> it looks like exact exactly like one we have for our two cats. It's very nice, it's very nice. Okay. What do we have here? Strange on this one? But I don't know if we can get... Can we take this guy? We can. There we go. Perception is reality. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Get ready for uh, silence. I'm gonna take this with me. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. <laughs> brilliant. Frustratingly brilliant. Okay. Wow, we probably can't reach that area up there, but we'll see what we can see. Is it just like a mirror? Nothing to see over there. Okay, let's go through. Two twenty-five. Oh, it's gonna be a chess piece. We gotta stand there though. Um, anything we can grab. There we go. I don't like the auto movement that it's doing. I don't know if we could turn that off. Cause it's, basically it's making it easier. <laughs> Is that like a huge problem for me? Nah, it's, it's like not that big of a deal, but it, it does make it feel a little cheaper um, for me to solve. So there's a door, but there's also out here.
And that's a different sound. No escaping. <laughs> hey, it's that area that I uh I tried to do a little shortcut. I've already listened to you. I was about to say, if I can leave if I could jump off, then that's just not cool. Not cool game. Yeah, there might be nothing here because this looks like it's a like an extra area. You kidding me? Hear the radio. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and <laughs> immediately run away. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, uh, what do we do here? Let's bring the, the cheese block looking thing. What if there's a fire, regular person, three to five dreams a night, don't meet sister-in-law, don't meet sister-in-law. Don't get lost. Beer fund five dollars. What the heck is that? Okay, well, let's bring the cheese and let's see what the elevator holds for us. Oh. <clears throat> 